After I graduated from USF, I joined the Nielsen Emerging Leadership Program. Um, I did that for two years and then I rolled off that program as a project manager. And my current role today is a director of engineering R&D at Nielsen. Um, in my role, I work with various technologies that span across um, different areas, including things like leveraging Bluetooth technologies to determine proximity of a device, uh, designing and hardware and working on embedded development, and of course we also do a lot of machine learning to stay ahead in our domain, which is marketing and research. I actually think that um, my school in here at USF prepared me for all the roles I've had so far. Uh, the topics and classes were very much on point with the latest technology at the time. We covered all the basics, but my favorite part was how flexible the program was. Uh, we had a lot of electives, and there's a lot of stereotypes that, you know, computer science is about um, cyber security, or is, if you like gaming, and I don't like either, by the way, but I found some things that were of interest of mine. Um, things like machine learning and embedded development, I did a lot of electives there and here we are today, a lot of the projects I work on at Nielsen cover those same topics. Um, I think that was from uh, the academic perspective, from a people and personal perspective. We, thought we also had a lot of exposure to local companies, to bigger companies and all of it was very helpful and I think USF is great at making people who graduate uh, very well versed. I think that the staff in computer science were very supportive. First of all, when I first moved to this country, I couldn't even speak English. So how they dealt with me back then, I have no idea, but they were always very encouraging. And I really liked that positive environment that we had here at USF. Now, the other thing um, that marked me was I, I had a cause when I started computer science, I realized that there were not many females. I mean, in most of my classes, there used to be me or maybe three other girls at most. So I decided with a friend of mine, a colleague at the time or a classmate, uh, her name was Elizabeth and we went to the department and we found Dr. Wong and we proposed to her to start a woman in computer science organization and I think it's still alive today and it's called Wixi. And I remember at the time it was funny because we wanted to do this but there were no female engineers so we had to form the group and the department supported us. They advertised our events in every newsletter and they just rolled anyone who was a female in computer science automatically to our uh, organization. So it was not per request. It's like, if you're in computer science, you're in this org. And, and I think that helped us form a little community and it was really rewarding. It was great. So for computer science in general, um, I'd say be open to it. The field is very wide and even if you might not like some aspects of it, you might like other aspects, so don't close that door before you even open it. And I say have courage because this field is still hard, right? Um, a lot of things might seem very difficult um, in the beginning and you need to persevere and be patient with yourself. And then be humble because I think that's the international language um, for everybody to have a good relationship, good communication. I mean, people are everything. People are our customers our team, our boss, and our families. Go Bulls!